Southern Cross. Somewhere in the South Atlantic, somewhere in the majestic waters which separate the continents of Africa and South America, a German submarine keeps a secret rendezvous. With supplies exhausted after weeks of preying on Allied shipping, the U-boat makes contact with a supply submarine, a milk cow, from which it will take on fuel, food, ammunition. Fattened and refreshed, fighting submarines range farther, strike oftener, hit harder without having to return to base. The South Atlantic is now a battleground. sea lanes. The German submarines are not alone. Through these waters runs Germany's only link with her oriental partner. The Japanese Empire sends its submarines through the South Atlantic to demonstrate to blockaded Germany its loyalty to the common cause. Fascism. submarine warfare, himself extends Germany's warmest welcome to his Axis comrades in arms from the far Pacific. Hitler's Third Reich cordially embraces Hirohito's sailors. German Navy, war has come five years too soon. Hitler's admirals have long dreamed of a mighty surface fleet capable of sweeping Great Britain from the seas. But Adolf Hitler, impatient for his war, has not given his admirals time to build the navy for which they hoped. The German surface ships consist only of two old battleships, ten cruisers, and three pocket battleships, which are the pride of the fleet. At the outbreak of war, Hitler summons the captain of his finest pocket battleship, the Graf Spee, and orders him to disrupt and destroy enemy merchant shipping by all possible means. The Graf Spee is superbly equipped for her mission. Brilliantly designed, she combines maximum hitting power with the greatest possible speed. With her 33 guns, her eight torpedo tubes, and a crew eager for blood, she heads for the South Atlantic to carry out her Führer's orders. Graf Spee is wildly successful. 
Single-handed, she hunts down and murders 50,000 tons of precious Allied shipping. As long as the Graf Spee is on the loose, no freighter within her enormous cruising range is safe. Let any merchant ship run afoul of her, and that ship is doomed. Warning to stop is flashed to the helpless freighter. To avoid antagonizing neutrals early in the war, the German Navy holds fire until the crew is transferred from the ship marked for destruction. of the Graf Spee overshadows the entire South Atlantic. But the hunter is being hunted. British cruisers, Exeter, Ajax, Achilles, after incessant search, bring the pocket battleship to bay. but they do not sink her. Crippled and far from base, the German runs for cover, 